don't. You don't. What's wrong with you? Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. Um, be before I move to the next speaker, let me, let me just share with you that we have the power and the authority to remove you from the audience. I want you to understand that. Show some respect, the same respect that you would ask people to show you. Thank you. Remember that. All right, Melissa Easley. She's virtual. All right, Melissa Easley. All right, are you there? All right, we'll move on. Uh, the next speaker is Liz Stankovich, uh, followed by William Mitchell, followed by Michelle Connolly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Commissioner Leak, you don't get to make the final decision. This is why we have a I board. I forgot you in charge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Commissioner McDowell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been doing all this has long. been, uh, it's been hard to sit here tonight, honestly. Um, I really hate it. Everybody knows that, that uh, the culture wars are, are brought in here. Um, there's a, a real disturbing framing of our motives, of the school board's motives. And, you know, I just, I just wish that this community could be sensitive. I'm really disappointed in the, you know what, guys? <clears throat> Look at yourselves. Look at this group in here. This is an extremely homogenous group. This, our community is a majority Excuse me. minority community. Excuse me. She was respectful when you were speaking. Thank you. We have a majority minority community. And, uh, you know, this, this group has acted as if COVID isn't real. And, and I just want to say that I hope that moving forward, this board will, could you please, Excuse, excuse me, ma'am. We, we if we I have do to this. ask you a second time, you'll be removed. Thank you. Thank you. Our, I think what I'm hearing is that our work is not done because we have only, what, 67% was it, of folks vaccinated? Now we're going to have, um, since we, don't, we won't have a mandate, which I do support, I do support lifting the mandate, but I think what it does is it makes our job a little bit harder to get the word out about how people can keep themselves safe who are vulnerable. Um, I think that most of the folks in this chamber are probably not vulnerable and the folks who are aren't here tonight. And so out of respect for them, I wish we could change the language, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I liked your uh, amendment, but I understand um, I want to respect our public health director and his recommendations. I'm disappointed that it feels confusing for the language going forward for schools. I feel like this is just sort of ambiguous and, um, and I, I, I just don't envy the position that they're being put in. And so I feel like if we're lifting the mask mandate for the county, it ought to be applying to schools and, and we should be finding a way to keep folks safe who need to be safe. And so it's just gonna be harder. Um, and so, um, you know, we do have two Charlottes. We've known that for a long time and this is where it shows up. Um, you know, with this group right here, I just wanna say God help us. You said what, say that again? I said God help us. 